the tragic wife of Lord Lucan cut her three children out of her will and left her fortune to a homeless charity instead, it can be revealed today. Veronica, the Dowager Countess of Lucan, was found dead at her £2.9 million home in Belgravia, London, in September. An inquest last week revealed the 80-year-old had killed herself after taking a cocktail of alcohol and drugs after wrongly believing she was suffering from Parkinson's disease. The aristocrat was estranged from her three children George, Francis and Camilla and chose to remove them from her will, leaving all her possessions to Shelter, an organization which helps the homeless. Speaking after the hearing, Camilla Bingham, QC, told the Mail on Sunday, Mummy left her estate to the homeless charity, Shelter. The total figure of Lady Lucan's inheritance is unknown but the sale of her Belgravia property alone is thought to run into the millions. The reasons behind her decision to select shelter as a charity were not made clear during the hearing, however a coroner heard how towards the end of her life, Lady Lucan became increasingly reclusive. She hadn't spoken to her three children in more than 35 years due to a long-standing rift and had never met any of her grandchildren. Reports suggested the family were divided over the disappearance of her missing husband Lord Lucan, who fled after the murder of their children's nanny in 1974. For four decades, Lady Lucan was the subject of countless stories and documentaries as the search for her husband Lord Lucan rumbled on. In 1999, Lord Lucan was officially declared dead by the High Court, but a death certificate was not granted until 2016, allowing George to become the 8th Earl of Lucan. An auction will take place in Oxfordshire next month where Lady Lucan's possessions will be sold. Among the items are expected to include a large oil portrait of her husband and a personalized top hat. Shelter said, the proceeds will help us to continue fighting bad housing and homelessness. Last week a court heard how police smashed a window to break into her two-story terraced townhouse in London's Belgravia last September. Officers found her body in nightclothes on the dining room floor on top of an unmarked bottle with just one pill left inside. It later emerged she had taken a fatal amount of barbiturates and alcohol. The inquest was told Lady Lucan feared she had developed Parkinson's after she noticed a tremor in her right hand. But the coroner said there was no formal diagnosis and an examination of her brain came back with normal results. However, Lady Lucan had also lost her sense of smell, felt tired, anxious and suffered from insomnia, as well as becoming forgetful. She was one of the last people to see Lord Lucan, the 7th Earl John Bingham, alive before he became the most famous fugitive in the world. He is alleged to have killed family nanny Sandra Rivet after mistaking her for his estranged wife during a bitter custody battle over their three children in 1974. The inquest heard Lady Lucan's friend David Davies was worried about her after she had not been seen for two days and missed their regular meeting at St. James Park. He went to Belgravia police station concerned she had killed herself, as the pair had discussed assisted suicide if they had a terminal illness or a degenerative disease. Coroner Dr. Fiona Wilcox recorded a verdict of suicide. She said, it's clear that Veronica Mary Lucan has for some time been considering how she could, if she was to take her own life. She said, she attended a seminar in relation to this and she had four books and notes recovered from the scene and handwritten notes which appear to be taken from the books. It's clear from her diary entries of July, August, September she considered she suffered from Parkinson's disease, but there is no formal diagnosis and examination of her brain was normal. She had met with a publisher and I note she got up from the floor in a sprightly way, although she had seemed down. There's no evidence of suffering from a mental illness, although she had complained of anxiety and insomnia, which medication had been prescribed. 